One problem with multiplying using a normal grid method is keeping control of the zeros. So I'm going to show you now a method that a lot of students find easier where we don't need to worry about the zeros in the number. This is called Chinese grid method. The grid for it is similar to the normal grid multiply except that there are diagonals drawn across each square. I'm not going to let that worry me when I start setting out the number but the difference is that instead of using place value and splitting 328 into 320 and 8, I simply write the number across the top of the grid with one digit at the top of each column. So immediately the zeros have disappeared. Again down the side, I'm not going to write 50 and 3, I'm going to write 5 there and 3 there. In normal grid method, I would put this down the left hand side. In Chinese grid, these digits go down the right hand side. It's still a multiply grid and in each of these squares I'm going to multiply the number at the side by the number at the top. So in this first one I've got 3 multiplied by 8. 3 eighths are 24 and I split that and put half of the number in each of the two triangles. 2 at the top, 4 at the bottom. The larger place value in the top the smaller place value in the bottom. 5 times 8 in this box here, 5 times 8 will be 40, that's 4 tens go in the top, no units, so I put that there. In this box again, the bottom centre, 2 times 3 is 6, that only has one digit, but I need two digits to fill my two triangles, so I use a zero, there are no tens, 6 units, I put it that way round. Five twos for this centre top one, five twos are ten, one ten, again no units. In the bottom left hand corner, three threes are nine, has to be written in as zero nine, five threes are fifteen, so I write in one and five. Now this is where the adding up part at the end is different. Instead of just writing all that lot down and adding it together, I add down the diagonals. So wherever I can see a diagonal between the columns, I'm going to add there and I'm going to write the answers at the bottom. So I'm going to add down here, there's just a 4 in that triangle there, so the 4 is part of my answer. In this diagonal here, I've got a 0, a 2 and a 6. So I add those together, I get 8. I'm going down this diagonal here and I've got 13, 9 and 4, so that's 13. I'll put 3 at the bottom of there and get 1 over into the next diagonal. Now I'm going to add the whole of this next diagonal. 1 and 5 is 6 and 1 there is 7 and in this top corner there just the 1. I don't add the digits around the outside, I'm just adding the digits down the diagonals in those columns. I then read my number round from this end across the bottom and I can see that my answer is actually 17,384. 17,384. The place value has taken care of itself. I've not had to worry about the zeros at all. I just fill in each square and put the larger digit at the top, smaller at the bottom.